So first of all, I find that your yarn needle will be your best friend when you're weaving in your ends. You want to make sure you've got a really lovely yarn needle with a lovely blunt end and a big eye because you want to thread your yarn. If you've got a big eye, your yarn will thread much more easily. If, you've, if the eye is quite tiny, as you thread your yarn, it may fray, which can be a little bit tricky. If you haven't been weaving your ends in as you go, let me show you how I weave in my ends. So again, I always weave my ends in on the wrong side of the blanket. So I thread my yarn needle. And I like to work across my rows by inserting my needle into the first stitch and then just feeding it through the next stitch. I usually like to feed it through around 14 to 16 stitches across to make sure your end is nice and secure. Like so. And then on my last stitch, I like to just feed it round the last stitch once or twice. And then it's a lovely secure before I then use my scissors to snip off the remaining end. Also, another way I like, if I remember, I like to crochet over my ends as I'm crocheting along. So how, how I do that is that I just feed my ends behind my stitches on the wrong side, and then I just crochet, crochet over the end into the stitches as I'm moving along the row. Again, until about 14 or 16 stitches, and then I will just snip away the end. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm just going to use this lovely copper color to show you. So I'm going to pull my tail behind my work, insert my hook, join my new yarn. I'm just going to show you how to do it with a double crochet stitch. So I'm going to make sure my tail is behind my yarn. I'm going to hold it down with my finger, insert my hook into my stitch, pick up the copper yarn, pull through and crochet over. So you're just holding your ends down on top of that, on top of that row. You're just hiding them. You're just hiding your ends under that stitch. Again, I like to crochet along around 14 to 16 stitches before I snip off my tail. I'm only showing you around 10 stitches here before I just snip off the end. And there's my end that I've just crocheted over. And this is a great way to continue weaving in your ends if you want to finish your blanket like this. Thank you.